What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today, another exciting Samsung update video for you guys. One of Samsung's best apps that allows you to get more performance out of your device was just updated. It's got some bug fixes, a couple of new features. I'll also run it down kind of the overall features as I normally do for people who don't use it if you don't know exactly what it does. We're gonna be talking today about Samsung's Game Launcher and in particular, the Game Boost feature. Before I do that, a couple quick reminders as usual. Uh, one of them is right now, we do have the Galaxy Z Fold 4 Mystery Box, Z Flip 4 Mystery Box is going on for free on my website if you're pre-ordering from Unpacked. And you're going to get a stand, a case, and a cleaning kit. And this is the stand you're going to get right here. It is an awesome stand that I've been using for a long time. It's foldable, as you saw there. It's tilt adjustable, like so. It's height adjustable, up and down, like so. And again, fold it up, put it in your bag, and take it with you. I love this stand, it's from my friends over at Lamacall. Um, they are giving me a bunch of stands to put in the mystery boxes. So I'm gonna drop the link below to this stand. As you guys can see, it holds my S22 Ultra beautifully for the video so I can do my demonstrations. But also it'll hold a Galaxy Z Fold 4, Z Flip 4, and the link will be below if you guys wanna pre-order one of those free mystery boxes from my site if you are ordering a phone. Also, Samsung does have the reserve credit available right now, 200 credit. Even if you're not buying a phone, you should do this because Samsung sometimes sends out discount codes for accessories on their website if you sign up for these. In fact, down here, let's keep in touch. They'll send you some cool coupon codes. I've gotten 40% off before, so check that out. It's gonna be below as well. So let's get into it today, talking about Game Booster, Game Launcher, which are two of my favorite apps for improving your performance on your Samsung device. I'll quickly show you the updated version I received here in the Galaxy Store Game Booster right down here. This is the version number I received it July 27th. That is today, the day I'm making the video, 4.0.01.0. And the description up here for the update itself says bugs fixed. Feature updates are different depending on your device. Thank you. So of course there could be some different uh, things depending on whether or not you have a Galaxy S22 Ultra versus a Fold versus maybe like an E53 or whatever. But if you go into Game Launcher, that's where you can actually find these features. And one thing that's great about Game Launcher is if you play a lot of games, it allows you to not only increase your performance, but also do some things like turn on priority mode, uh, play with the game sounds. You can have little shortcuts when you're in a game to easily access apps or messages or contacts, things like that. And Game Boost in particular lets you, so it's right here, Game Booster. This in particular lets you do a lot of things like block specific apps during a game, touch protection and things like that. So you can see here some of the options, block notifications, nav gestures, auto brightness, Bixby edge panel. So if you don't wanna have your edge panel up to accidentally swipe that over. Touch protection timeout, you can go all the way up to never there if you want to. Touch protection power saving, which will save you some battery. You can have a shortcut bar inside gaming mode, or you can have on the floating shortcut. Here's the shortcuts, touch protection, screenshot, pop-up panel, record or none. Screenshot format, JPEG, uh, you can do whatever format you want, of course. Screen resolution, in this case, 100% for the screen resolution. Game optimization, this is where you can play with some of those performance settings. You can do performance, standard, or battery saver. So if you still wanna play some games, but maybe you don't want the highest frame rate or whatever in order to save some battery. Low refresh rate also will let you directly turn on low refresh rate to 48 hertz when you play games. And then, of course, there is the labs feature as well. And this was actually something that people were talking a lot about earlier this year. Let me go ahead and tilt this back up. Alternate gaming performance management. Use an experimental game performance management system that may improve some game performance. And it says this tends to cause heating. So this is something that they talked about a lot when the S20 Ultra first came up, all these game optimization issues, specifically with the Exynos model. But you can turn this on and it'll basically give you, I guess, some additional performance, uh, even on the Snapdragon model. So this has been improved with some bugs and also just a cleaner UI interface. I'm not a huge gamer. My friend plays, my, my son plays some um, on my phone because he's little, he likes to play Jurassic World um, AR capture. But Scribble Racer is one of my favorite games. I'll show you guys what the pop-up looks like really quick if you want to see it in the new update so you can kind of see the UI and what it looks like. Got the sound playing here on my speaker right behind me. You can swipe down to get to Game Booster. So right here, you can go ahead and tap to open it. And it'll open it and you've got all your pop-ups and everything like that. You can see priority mode. Down here, it shows you the battery life while you're in the game so you can see how long you'd be able to continue playing. Up here, you've got your other shortcuts, settings, monitoring temperature, monitoring memory. You can kind of see all the different things that it's going to monitor while you're playing the game. You can record video. 
You can also record, you know, go to YouTube, make a call, messages, screenshot, all that cool stuff. And then you can also pop back to the Game Booster settings, which I just showed you guys right now. So this is a really cool app that not only lets you get extra performance out of your S22 Ultra if you play a lot of games, but it also lets you customize your experience with notifications and other interruptions that you might not want while you're gaming. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll drop the link below uh, to the Galaxy Store. The update should be rolling out soon if you have an S22 Ultra, S21 Ultra Pro, or one of the uh, newer foldables. It should roll out later to some of the mid-range phones and other phones down the Samsung lineup. Again, if you guys want to check out Lamacall, I'll drop the link below to this beautiful stand, which will be included for free in my mystery boxes for everybody who pre-ordered a Galaxy Z Flip 4, Z Fold 4 mystery box. There'll also be a case and a cleaning kit in there, but I'll drop the link below to their foldable stand, height adjustable, tilt adjustable. Uh, let me know what other videos you guys want to see. I should have a lot of One UI 5.0 content coming soon once the beta arrives. Uh, lots of unpacked content next month. Get your Samsung credit in. We're really hyped for unpacked around here. Uh, I appreciate you guys checking out this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.